Baby, donde tú quieras, yo paso a buscarte. Tú espérame afuera, pa' si no llamas. Hey guys, welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? Are you doing good? I am. I hope you are. Anyway, we react to some real life lore. And this is how big do hurricanes, hurricanes get. And I have a fascination with weather. I don't know if you know that about me, but as as I was young, my dream job was to be a tornado scientist, the one that followed tornadoes and gathered the data. I wish I was, would have followed my dream. I didn't. I absolutely love weather. Um, I love how powerful it can be. I don't like people dying in it and the destruction and all that, but... I absolutely like the power of nature. Anyway, I know hurricanes can get biggest countries. They can get massive. So let's go ahead and check this video out. Let's react to it. Let's see what we can learn. Let's do this now. Nature is still the queen of our planet. And one nature of the greatest is. displays of her raw power can be found in the form of hurricanes. Oh yeah. These huge power. and disastrous storms are a well-known fact of life to sailors and coastal communities the world over. But these storms are called different things depending on where you Typhoon are. Typhoon and hurricane. In the Atlantic and Northeastern Pacific, they are hurricanes. In the Northwestern Pacific, they are typhoons. While in the South Pacific and Indian Oceans, they are known as cyclones. I didn't know so that, cyclones. Cyclone. Right. They're nothing to take lightly. No. But how large and how powerful can these storms actually get? Massive. Let's start by explaining the Sapphire Simpson scale, which you've probably already seen used. Absolutely. It measures hurricanes on a scale between Category 1 on the low end and Category 5 on the high end. To help you visualize what each level of the scale means, let's begin with the smallest known cyclone ever on record. Tropical Storm Marco. To be classified as a Category 1 hurricane, a storm <coughs> needs to have wind speeds of at least 74 miles per hour. And so since Which isn't too terrible at all. speed of 65 miles per hour, it wouldn't even register on the scale. The storm right. was about the same size as Rhode Island, and the damage it caused when it impacted Mexico minimal. was minimal. Yeah. But obviously, actual hurricanes can get much nastier than this. Oh, yeah. Even on the low end of a Category 1 storm, Hurricane Nate in 2017 became the costliest natural disaster in the history of Costa Rica. Wow. $787 million in damage and claiming category one. 48 people. A Category 1 Just storm one. has wind speeds ranging between wow. 74 and 95 miles per hour, <laughs> and its max speed at 90 miles per hour easily made it make the mark. But the further up the scale we go, the more ferocious the wind Horrible. speeds become. At Category 2, a hurricane must have wind speeds between 96 and 110 miles per hour. This is fast enough to damage roofs and windows of homes, uproot some trees, and destroy... We're just on world. number two, baby! Two! ...an example of this type, which grew to about the size of Montenegro. Once we reach Category 3, these and all further storms are considered to be major hurricanes. Mass destruction. considered a Category 3, Mass a storm destruction. needs to have wind speeds between 111 and 129 Sustained. miles per hour. Right. Even the most well-built homes or office buildings can suffer minor damage against this. Brick buildings, for sure. Foundation will probably be totally destroyed. <laughs> Hurricane Otto in 2016 was a good example of this type, which grew to have a max wind speed of 115 miles per hour and became close in size to the Netherlands. Hurricanes start getting big as the Netherlands. Terrifying when they reach Category Four, though. The deadliest <coughs> natural disaster in all of American history was because of a Category Four hurricane that struck the city of Galveston in 1900. Winds, With rain, flooding, storm swords. Five All miles that. per hour, the hurricane basically destroyed the entire city <laughs> and left somewhere between 6,000 and 12,000 people dead. Well, but that's nowhere that's near it. the deadliest cyclone in world history. That There's one in the Philippines. Honor goes to the 1970 Bola oh, cyclone okay. that smashed into a place that used to be called East Pakistan. I didn't hear about this Bangladesh. one. The storm was about the size of Albania and claimed the lives of over 500. 500,000! More than all American fatalities during the Second World War combined. Another horrible record that is set terrible. by a hurricane was by Harvey in 2017. <laughs> Approaching the size of Hungary, it slammed into the coast of Texas in 2017 and became the cost Flooded bad. History. Causing over $125 billion in Mostly damage, from flood. also close to Hungary's total GDP. So you can wow. really call Harvey a hungry missile. But that missile's record is technically tied with an even more ferocious storm back from 2005. 
Katrina, which became a monster close in size to Poland with winds of 175 miles per hour. It also caused 125 billion dollars. Like category of five. And claimed the lives hit of the Philippines a couple years, years ago. It was terrible. And we had Andrew hit this the Florida. This is our first category five hurricane. But there are many more that have been significantly bigger. Yeah. As it stands now, as of the making of this video, Hurricane Florence has not yet made landfall in the Carolinas, but it's looking like a true monster that's approaching the size of France. Hurricane Patricia, back in 1979, grew to about the size of the entire Iberian Peninsula, Spain and Portugal combined, and clocked in the highest wind speed ever so much power, man! at a demonically fast 215 miles per hour. That's fast enough to probably destroy most buildings that would ever come across. I can't but imagine. there still are a few that have grown even bigger. While not as ferociously fast, Hurricane John was considerably bigger in size, nearly the same as Iran. John holds Big the as Iran. longest lasting hurricane at 31 days and the furthest distance traveled wow. by 11,530 kilometers, or about 29% of the way around the entire planet. Only a tiny handful of hurricanes have ever been bigger than this. That's mind blowing, one of them really. Was Sandy, which became the biggest hurricane to ever strike the U.S. It was about half the, the east size coast. of Australia, which looks horrific on a map by the east coast, but with a wind <laughs> speed of only 115 <laughs> miles per hour, oh. it was actually classified as just a Category Three storm. Just massively so the big. The cause wasn't as bad as it could have been if the storm storm upgraded. surge was terrible but by on that far one. The biggest and most terrifying storm our planet is known to have ever experienced was Typhoon Tip back in 1979. Growing in the northwestern Pacific, Tip reached a size comparable to the entire country of India and maintained wind speeds of 190 miles per hour. That is massive! Tip weakened ah! before it eventually hit Japan, but imagine the damage it could have caused if it had hit somewhere at its peak strength. That's the terrifying. Missile caused $125 billion of damage in Texas. Imagine what an India missile could have done to Japan. But worst of all, hurricanes are probably going to get bigger later during this century because of global warming. Feeds off the, the heat. The ocean water gets, the stronger yep. that a hurricane's winds can become. NOAA estimates that because of climate change, hurricane intensity will increase 2 to 11 percent by 20. 11 percent is a huge which increase. Sound like a lot. Huge. Do you remember that 2 to 11 percent of wind speeds close to 200 miles per hour is close to 4 to 22 additional miles per hour? You don't need any more. Enough over a speed limit to get you a ticket pretty much anywhere. Speed is important, or at least the illusion of it is. Before I started this YouTube channel, I created a feature-length movie over really? the summer. But I really had no idea what I was doing. If you're wow. trying to do something similar right now, like filming your own movie, videos for YouTube, or any other cinematic project, then there's no better place to learn what you're doing than over at Skillshare. He's going to tell us Skillshare uh, advertisement. But I'm surprised he didn't mention the one at the Philippines just, um, I think in like 2014. It was massive and killed a bunch of people. I'm pretty sure that was a Category 5. I guess it was considered a typhoon because it was out, you know, in the east. But um, if you guys know of that one, let me know. I, I watched documentaries on it, and I remember when it happened, and it killed thousands of people as well. The storm surge really killed the majority of them, I think. But um, you got to respect nature. If anything you learn from this video, you got to respect nature. Um, here where I live, we don't really get we don't get hurricanes because we don't live by the coast. But what we do get is tornadoes, and those are just tightly compacted and the winds can go even higher they can go up into the 300s I'm, I'm pretty sure on the top scaled ones but um i've been close to a tornado it was my neighbor's house got hit by a tornado and luckily we sir ours didn't that's how that's how a narrow a path a tornado can be is with hurricanes it's wide it can be a whole coast it can be a whole country you know what i mean but um both are bad both are terrible but um i love watch you know watching videos and uh, learning about them because I think it's just an awesome power on this earth but um that's my thoughts on tornadoes hurricanes what's your thoughts have you ever been in one if you have let me know by commenting down below and let me know the name of that hurricane if you've been in one I've never been in one just tropical storms those don't count though because they're tropical storms but anyway those are my thoughts if you want me to react to anything please comment down down below drop a link let me know 
And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so. Join the family. Join the Max Reaction family. And next time you choose a reaction, I really hope you choose a Max Reaction. Peace, love, and happiness. Catch you guys later. Baby, donde tú quieras, yo paso a buscarte. Tú espérame afuera, pa' si no llamarte. No traigas pa'.